Why don't you tell us about why you used the idea of the birds to stand in for human beings, or the anthropomorphizing of the, the birds? When, uh, when, considering this, um, when considering this idea, because it was all built around God see the hymn, God Sees the Little Sparrows Fall, I wanted to have the material also reflect the idea of fragility and vulnerability. And uh, I, quite frankly, there's probably no other sound that is as shocking or as poignant as the shattering of glass. I did consider um, using clay or porcelain, but it, it wouldn't be just the same thing. The, the sense of the glass has the sense, it's much more of a refined material, so I want it to allow the birds to absolutely inspire the sense, a sense of angst over the loss of the glittering beauty, much the same way as we consider the people that we have close to us as absolute specific and, and um, specific individuals that can never be replaced. You speak about you speak about that in some in some uh, in a previous conversation where you know you had lost some friends to cancer. And That's right, that and and the the because I haven't experienced I've been lucky I haven't experienced a lot of loss in my life and and um, what impressed me the most about losing my friends three friends uh, was that they were so in, individually unique. They could, and that was the part that I was missing, was their uniqueness. And um, it, by the same fact, it made me realize how, how um, what an opportunity it is to be alive and take, to take advantage of the fact that we are, we have this wonderful chance of, of living. And that that, for all of us, will one day, will one day finish. And um, I hoped that this exhibition and putting it together would not be a morbid experience, but would instead inspire a sense of gratitude at our, this opportunity to experience life and seize the day. Well, it's interesting because you, there's also this whole element of humans being self-aware and, and, and aware of their mortality, their eventual mortality. And animals don't tend to have that, we think, don't tend to have that, that knowledge, except for perhaps just at the very, very end. And, uh, and so again, you have this projection of the, of the human onto, onto the animal. But, um, I actually had worked with that before, because I did a, a piece which was a rotating canvas called Earth. And in it, the center of the image is man. And man, you see a man in the center of the piece, and around him, it's all of the kingdoms that make up the animal kingdom. And so there's birds, and there's flowers, and there's animals, and, um, but the canvas itself can be rotated. So it's man with his double vision. And I do believe this is, um, not, this is not a unique philosophy. The idea of man and his having this sense of other than himself is, um, is something that has been considered by thinkers for, for quite some time. And that was part of the Buddha Composed series. And that was part of the Buddha Composed, that's from right. this series again comes out of. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, the, any sense of, uh, of the religiosity in this work is not that it's coming so much from a, re a religious point of view, is from a spiritual point of view. So it doesn't matter whether the Buddha composed was about Buddhism or in this one I'm moving more towards using um, Christian sources such as the hymn God Sees the Little Sparrows Fall or Noah's Ark which comes of course from, the, from a biblical source. Um, but more so a sense of a connection with the understanding of life rather than um, it being sort of researching um, religion as such. But there is still in, 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 in religious teachings and, and in, uh, and in the people who, who do a lot of searching and so on, and there's that whole element, again, of 
why are we here? Why, you know, what is, what is the meaning of all this? What is the meaning of death? Why is there such a thing as an early death? Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and bringing a lot of, your work seems to bring us to that moment where we should be um, paying attention to the fact that we are, in fact, alive and aware. That's right. And it's, just, it's the, I think it's that sense of, of destiny of um, if you, if you, if one is always buckling against destiny in the sense of thinking that something else should be happening and um, in, rather than understanding the, the moment, then this is where a lot of, I believe, anxiety comes from. And this is very much part of the Buddhist philosophy, is the realization of the moment, the sense of trying to actually live and experience life rather than, than too much trying to conceptualize life and in doing so, miss the living. Right. So I think that in terms of swoons, that it was, this is why I think it was very necessary that it had to be a spectacle, that it had to be something that when someone saw it would hopefully go, whoa, first of all, just at the, the, the glittering canopy of the glass. And, um, and in that, also experience a moment of living.